Hello, welcome to another brand new tutorial. Today, I'm gonna show you how to create a very simple recycled bin icon in Affinity Designer. This tutorial is aimed at newbies. Let's create a new document by going to File New. I'm setting its width and height as 200 pixels. Leave other settings as default and click Create. Before beginning, I'm pasting here some color code Zincus if you'd like to use the same on your icon project as well. Let's begin by saving the project with the name. Press M on your keyboard or select the rectangle tool from the tools panel. Click and drag it to create a rectangle with the size of your choice. The one I created has a width of 93.6 pixels and a height of 120 pixels. Recycled bins are usually seen with green, blue, yellow, red or black colors. Select the color of your choice. Here I chose a blue shade. Convert the rectangle to curves by right-clicking on it or by choosing from the context toolbar. Now, let's modify the rectangle to look like a bin. Keeping the selection of rectangle, press A on the keyboard or select the node tool from the tools panel. Select the bottom left node, press shift and use the arrow key on your keyboard to move it to the right side. After that, select the bottom right node and move it to the left by holding shift. Now, select both nodes and press C to select the corner tool. Drag the nodes upwards a little for adding a curved base for the bin. I've added a corner radius of 6.6 .6 pixels. Let's give the name bottom to the layer and align it to the center. Now that we have our bottom part ready, we can create a curved edge for it in the top. Select the rectangle tool again and create a lengthy shape. I'm zooming into the canvas by holding control and mouse scroll wheel to fine tune it. Here I created the shape with 102.9 pixels width and 5.1 pixels height. Change its color to a blue shade. You can align it to the center as well. Name the layer as top. We have to make it curvy in the edges. For that we can repeat the steps we followed before. Convert it to curves. Select the node tool and use it to select the top left node and move it to the right one time using the arrow key. Do the opposite for the right node. Select both nodes and add a corner radius using corner tool. I added a value of 2.2 pixels. The bin we are creating will appear like it's open. So, we need to create some pile of waste. Select both shapes and move them downwards for the space needed to create them. Select the triangle tool and create a triangle shape on the top of the edge. Choose a color for it. I selected a yellow shade. Convert it to curves. Now, select the corner tool again. Select the top node and drag it downwards to create a radius of around 2.3 pixels. Drag the layer to the bottom. Also, move the shape to the left side. Hold the Alt key and move it to the right side to duplicate the shape. Move it down slightly and change its color to a different shade of yellow. Also, drag the layer down beneath the other shape. You can fine-tune the shapes to your choice. After that, group them by selecting and pressing Ctrl-G or Command-G on Mac. Name the layer as well. Align the shapes horizontally to the center. We're almost there. Now, we need an icon to denote recycling. Before that, let's temporarily disable the existing layers by selecting them all together and clicking the tick icon near one of them. Add two guides vertically and horizontally to the center by dragging from the rulers. If you can't view rulers you can press Ctrl R or Command R on Mac to show them. Select the ellipse tool. Disable the fill and add a stroke width of 4 points. Leave other settings to the default for now. Hold shift and create a small circle of radius around 33 pixels. Align it horizontally and vertically to the center. We have to divide this circle equally to make three circling arrows. Press Ctrl J or Command J to duplicate the circle. 
change its stroke width to double the original. Drag it down, so that its top edge is at the center of the original circle like this. Change its color to a random. Now, activate the pen tool and draw a straight line vertically by holding the shift key. Make sure it's aligned to the center. Select the shapes and reduce the opacity to 50%. Keeping the selection active, go to Layer and select Expand Stroke. We'll be using these two shapes as a guide for dividing the circle. Select the original circle and convert it to curves. Go to the Stroke Settings and select Place Arrow at the end of the line. Select the drop-down menu near end and choose the simple arrowhead. Let's zoom into the canvas. Select the circle and drag two guides to both sides of the vertical line. Add guides to where the second circle's edge meets the curve of the original one as well. Now, select the node tool and add nodes on the curve where the guides meet it. Select the middle node and choose Break Curve from the Action on Context toolbar. Select the broken nodes and delete them by pressing the Delete key. Let's repeat the same process. Add nodes at the meeting point, break the middle node and delete them. We have our recycle icon ready. Delete the guide shapes as we don't need them. Also, hide the guides by pressing Ctrl semicolon or Command semicolon on Mac. Select all three curves and expand the stroke. Keeping the selection active, select Add from the geometry options. This will merge the curves into a single shape. Name the layer. Make other layers visible. Change the color of the icon. Position it in the center of the bin. You can rotate it to make some adjustments. Group all the layers and give a name to them. Align it to the center. Let's not forget to save the project. Export the icon by clicking the export from the file menu. Select the desired format and size. Choose a location and click save. Let's check the icon by opening it. That's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you've learned something today. Please feel free to give a thumbs up to the video if you like it, and don't forget to hammer the subscribe button and ring the bell icon.